Hello everybody. We are out here on Beaver Fork Lake in Conway and I'm in my kayak. But it's not the Silly Salmon 1. This is the Silly Salmon version 2. Heck yeah. First time I'm unveiling this bad boy. And uh, we're just kind of floating around and it's a beautiful day. It's beautiful out here and I'm just having fun. <laughs> Already a little wet, but hey, I've got my swim trunks on for a reason. But yeah, we're out here at Beaver Fork and it is a blast. So I hope you guys sit back and enjoy this video. This is the Voyage of the Silly Salmon Part 2, uh, or the Silly Salmon 2, or whatever you want to call it. Bam. Let's have fun. All right, for those of you who don't know, uh, Beaver Fork Lake is a small, it's about 25 acre lake up here in Conway. It's just kind of north of the city as you're heading towards Wooster. And uh, it offers uh, all kinds of recreational use. I mean, you can come out here fish, you can float. Um, you probably hear that sound. That's an outboard boat coming in, a uh, bass boat. But it offers all kinds of recreation. It's got a swim beach. This golf, you name it, it's got it. So it's a blast out here. Um, so yeah, I think it's free to float on the weekends. The uh, guard shack was closed and I saw somebody else launching their kayak. And it's like, you know what, I'm gonna get out there too. So usually it's like $5 a person though. So highly recommend if you ever get a chance to come out here and wanna float in a peaceful lake that's not too crowded. This is perfect. kind of getting used to this because I've almost flipped my back a few times, but not too bad. Um, I'm starting to get into this. I don't know what this crap is. Oh, no. Uh, a lot of grassy crap in this water right now. Ugh. Keep my balance. Keeping my balance. Gotta go. It is getting warmer. And I am so excited for the warm weather. I like being out in it. And now that I have this, the Silly Salmon 2, I'm going to be out more and hitting a lot of bodies of water. Because this is just a lot of fun. And it's relaxing. If you like the water, I recommend anybody get out here and do this. Might have to bring my siblings my brother-in-law and sister along too. Brother-in-law and sister along, not brother-in-law and sister-in-law. I only have one brother-in-law. There's some coot going across the lake right there. Look at those. Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them scooting. The coot scoot. There, oh, there goes some right there. I need you guys to sound off for me. Where would you guys like to see me explore next? I'm actually actively looking for some awesome places to hike, float, go. I mean, the Buffalo River is on my list, but as a bike. But I would like to have a group of people to go because I don't want to float the Buffalo by myself. So, um, yeah. 
taking suggestions, leave them in the comments, message me. And let's just let me know wherever you guys think I want, where it would be cool to go. I'm always down for new places. Far away, far away, either up and don't you make a noise and found the way to Australia. Almost flipped over. <laughs> The coot's flying away, my coot! Wait, oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. No, I lost it. Oh, there they go. Look at the coot. Bye bye, birds. They might not be coot, but they are everywhere. Look at them go. Bye. There's the Canada geese, the gooses. Oh, they've got goslings. Oh, oh, or maybe those are ducks. I can't tell. Look at this. The surface of the water is yellow because there's so much pollen. You probably can't tell in the video how bad it is, but that's a lot of flipping pollen. Also, I found this cool little alcove right here that I've just been kind of chilling in, and it's very quiet. There's somebody else around. So, it goes all the way back there. This might be a really good spot to go fishing. Hmm. I might have to bring my pool next time I'm out here. Because this is a little quiet alcove and it's too, I mean, it's not shallow, but there's too many sticks for other boats to get in. So I think this would be perfect for fishing. I'm going to have to bring my pole. Ugh, it came out of nowhere. <laughs> it is everywhere. Oh, what is that? Hey, there's something living. Oh, I don't know what that is. Get off. Go, get in the water. Ugh. Well, I think this is a beaver lodge. I have to get close enough. To look at the trees and look at the twigs but it looks like they've been chewed on up there at the top and like down here at the bottom but I would get close to look but if you notice right up there there's a mama goose nesting and I don't want to get any closer to her right now because she might tear me up if I get close to her nest and those eggs she's already been staring me down and I'm trying to keep my distance not to disturb her all right, so this, my friends, I'm 95% sure is a beaver lodge or an old one. I don't know if it's still active. You can clearly see the bite marks on the tree limbs here, but I'm not getting closer to investigate if it is or not, because right there at the very top is a goose who I'm 95% sure right now is nesting. And she's already been staring you down and I'm giving her space because I want to, and I think it's polite to give her space, especially if she's nesting. And I don't feel like dying by goose today. So yeah, this is one of the cool things, especially if this is an old beaver lodge, um, then it's being reused by all kinds of forms of nature. See, she's already watching me right now. And I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not coming after your eggs. I'm keeping my distance for your safety and mine. So you can stay there on your eggs. 
So yeah, that's one of the coolest things about nature is that even if this beaver lodge is abandoned and was used last year, unless we destroy it, it's going to sit here and it can become a home to all kinds of aquatic creatures. I mean, like geese laying their eggs on them, snakes use them, uh, muskrats, otters, but I don't even know if we have any. But this mama goose right now is not happy that I'm in her area and she just keeps staring me down. And so I'm going to leave her alone. I'm going to go back that way and I'm going to keep my distance. I'm a good about 15 feet away from her. I had my cameras in, but as far as it would go. And so I'm just going to back out and let her do her thing because I don't want to disturb her nest. And like I said, I don't want to die by goose today. All right, mama goose, I'm out of here. I'm gonna take off now, okay? You can keep guarding your nest. I don't want to cause you any harm. There's other kayakers out here. Look at them go. Hey guys, hey friends. Hi kayaking friends. All right, so on me right now, I just wanna show you guys live fest, safety first. I got my dry bag right here. Um, about to throw my phone in it because I'm gonna scoot around and I've almost flipped over a few times and I don't wanna lose my phone. So uh, yeah. That was just something short I wanted to create real quick because it's you know been a while since I've made a video. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry guys. Whenever you work and travel, it's kind of tiring on the weekends. You just wanna you know sit back and relax. So <laughs> I uh, I do plan on making more videos soon because it's starting to get warm and I'm excited to get out and explore. But uh, until next time, guys, I'm gonna uh, just float around some more and. Uh, Put my phone in my bag that way if i do flip over i won't lose it so until next time guys thank you for watching i hope you have a great night remember what i always say continue to explore the natural state i'll see you guys next time bye